against FPX. Kingzone playing with a little pizzazz here in uh, their first game of Rift Rivals 2019. The Alistair gonna be locked in here as well. Use so his flash. Tian holds on to his as Cuz enters the mid lane now. See if he can place him defensively. Oh. Okay, there's the flash in. Sand Soldier's oh. doing some work. Doiby gonna get taken down. The last Sand Soldier will do it. First one. Works fantastically well here for Kingzone. High rolling as far as the Drakes are concerned because they get to utilize their power on the bottom side of the map. Yep. Teleport to come in here as uh, Deft and Tucson making their way up as a duo. Tian comes down though, but it's not actually him. It's in the mid lane. There's the Emperor's Divine Doiby flashing to get out of the way, but the final chapter is read to him. It's going down low. Cuz is in position. He wants to get that tunnel forward to lock this one down. He's not going to steal it even on the Double Infernal board. Drakes. And now Cuz going to have to use the ultimate, but doesn't even have time. Final chapter does come down, and Neon just you should expect King Zone to get this turret, push him towards this inner turret base, and then make a play towards the bot side. So inner turret is free, not likely to go for any charges on the inhibitor turret. Can be a little bit dangerous here. Is that something again afterwards? Try and give him that extra attack speed. Not going to happen this time. He's just looking straight towards that Infinity Edge by the looks of things. Chapter already going to go down here as Chris takes a fair bit of damage, but the Drake is secured. Chris diving on in, and they manage to take down the Rek'Sai side before anything else can happen. The Culling flies in as Death does a fair bit of damage. As Tian just going to get boofed away. Gimgoon not going to find any joy with his ultimate. Double kill comes down from Death as Rascal has found the back line. Dobie and LWX not going to be able to do anything. And Skull joins the fight once again. Super powerful, and it's going to be able to get them these two turrets. That's amazing stuff from Kingzone. We saw Once that. you're able to get some at least Infinity at components, right? They're just going to go yeah, for it now. Yeah, Prowling Projectile comes down. They didn't want to find Chris with it. It's on the hunt, comes down. Final chapter there just to deter them oh, no. from engaging onto Kaz. He does go into his stopwatch. Death gets them out of the way as Pop Blossom is channeled. Rascal looks for the charge and does get on top of Gimgoon here. As there's the kill. The Nico is going to fall. The Sand Soldiers set themselves up, but not for long as the Azir is going to get taken down. Doiby does so much damage at this stage of the game, but Death does too. Chris taken down for the double. The flash! The Get triple him. kill! Could it be the quadri? Yes, it is! This is Death on the international stage. Welcome, guys, to Rift Rivals 2019. Set the ball rolling, and Death takes them down one by one. Well, WX couldn't even find a place to go into the fight. That's an inhibitor as well. Death was yeah, a lot of members, in fact, are incredibly low. Pop Blossom is going to fly forward. The Yumi's going to go down, but if it's a trade one for one and Kingzone get Baron, then that is not worth it, and that's exactly what it's going to be. The pessimism's running out, like you were talking about before. Yeah, and I think right now, the fact that FPX have been on that pedestal for so long in the LPL, and then you're looking at this kind of game, and Kingzone are playing what seems like the best Kingzone you can be. Yeah. Deft is on top of his game right now, and they have a comp that really empowers him. So, great job here to be able to draft into this Protect one. this Siege minion. And uh, the outer, t sorry, the inhibitor turret in the mid lane is going to get taken down for free. Gimgoon, that's his shape splitter. But you saw how much these crits are doing. Chris tries to flash him, but he's just going to die. The final chapter read out, plain as day, is the charge into the back line from Rascal. Jumps off Skull, taking a lot of damage oh. here as Tian looks for the kick, gets Deft! And will take him down now as FPX's opportunity is Kim Goon doesn't find the Pop Blossom and Kingzone are able to get out of there. However, it's they HP. And it slows it down just a little bit, but I'm not too concerned if I'm at Kingzone in this game. Well, damage done to champion. Go back towards top. Kingzone needs to play it respectful. It's FPX that need to find a similar golden play like that. Yeah, well, there's flashes available for Depth and Neon. So it means that... The amount of King's own plays that they can make is much higher than that of FPX. Not having the flash on Tian is so hard. And Doinby, of course, has to play a whole lot more safely than what he was doing earlier on. FPX just watching as their inhibitors are falling down. We've got a 10,000 gold lead on the horizon. You gotta for draw King the line of sand. As uh, yeah, King Grun's shape splitter is going to be ignored as it makes its way past last inhibitor to hit the dust. As King's are now just two Nexus turrets away from. This Baron is going to disappear. Goodbye, Baron. You can't take that risk if you're FBX on that one. Well, you I mean, they saw. can't. Their champions literally cannot move that fast. That's true. <laughs> All crashing at the same time. Baron buffed super creeps. Now knocking on the front door of oh FBX. And good God, Tien 
He just disappeared. The culling is literally just that. As Doimi does have to be Woo! respected, but Gimgoon looks like he doesn't. That's a big pulverize now into the back line, but there's just not enough damage. And Prince Divide on everyone in the back line. And it's clean up here for Kingzone Dragon X. The double kill now. The Nexus will follow and LCK will strike first against the LPL Rift Rivals 2019. Beautiful performance and a first